Hello Prime Gooders, welcome back to Prime Gooding channel. I am Aditya Mishra. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the updated game-based pattern questions. Okay, so it will be one short video where I will be covering all of the type of patterns which may or may not be seen in your examination because every time Cognizant do create some new updates. Okay, so you can find this question most of the time. This was repeated, repeated, repeated. Although this video is very important so that you will get a context about the test. Okay, what would be the question or how you need to solve so that all this question won't look new to you. Because once when I was a day in my placement, I thought that, okay, what kind of pattern it is or how can I do it? But once I figured out the flow, how to solve this question, I am totally uh, mastered the particular game and reached to 20 or 21 levels in my time. So I know you are prime coder. You will definitely hit at least more than 17 level for sure because these games are very easy. Okay. So yes, most scoring round would be this. Game based is added to aptitude round itself. If you have not watched the Cognizant uh, hiring update, do watch it because I have told about the... Uh, structure updated structure of cognizant examination now without wasting further time let's talk about this thing okay so game and a type of questions detective logical thinking which is geo studio challenge which is finding a missing symbol based on 4x4 and 5x5 grid based on uh, geometrical uh, sudoku okay then you have inductive logical reasoning which is a special challenge uh, visual reasoning based question where you are supposed to find a pair of figures that follow the same rule as given by the pair in question please this might looks boring but have a look so that these will set up a uh, context about the patterns that we are gonna see in a while okay grid challenges ability to focus and multitask is tested like are you able to perform the multitask and stuff Motion challenge, your ability to plan ahead is measured. Has puzzle where you have to find the path. Okay, so these are the important things. Path because there's a path pattern as well. Switch challenge, sequence of geometrical shapes. So through a switch containing code, this code uh, changes the order of shapes and etc. This is order of shapes. That would be another hint. Digit challenge, which is a mathematical operation needs to be solved by using few available digit only ones. Clear? So let's see the very interesting game first. Okay, here I can see there's a... A circle, we have star, star, plus, circle, circle, and a triangle. Now, we need to fill what should be there at this particular uh, call, uh, this uh, particular box, which we should say that, okay? So, yes, it should be triangle, okay? It should be triangle because a row, or I would say a column, a row should have a unique uh, shape inside it. So, yes. I can say that triangle would be the best choice. It can be many things, but as per the context of the current image, I told. Okay. Now, another thing is, uh, you can see the two spaces are empty. You need to choose what should be chosen here. Okay. So, I can see that. Okay. Plus is also here. Triangle is also here. Square is also here. The uh, circle is left out. So, you just need to append the circle and you are done. You just, just need to choose it. And remember guys, whenever uh, the examination begin, it will let you know about the game rules. Okay, what are these rules and how it needs to be followed. And few simulations will also be demonstrated. Try to watch those properly. Because sometimes what people do, they are in hurry. Okay, I know, I, I know it. Just click, click on uh, skip next and stuff. Don't do it. Just listen or just see or observe the pattern, how you need to solve this respective question. So yes, another is few sets of question that you can see and you can uh, give a try, isn't it? As this is the question mark and here you can feel uh, anything because rather than circle, you can't fill circle and triangle and based on two, you can fill triangle or plus whatever feels good to you. Okay, so now. Another example that you can see, this is a homework that you should able to analyze what to append, which shape would be the right fit. Now, let's talk about the gain 2, where you have a grid where you need to recognize the following pattern, which I can see there are 6 uh, squares, 6 squares, 1 circle, 1 circle, plus, plus and triangle, triangle. I saw that. Now, as I already marked the answers, which will make you to understand what you need to follow. I can see the same two patterns right here would make sense with the grid patterns. Now here, as you can see, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus uh, 1 um, 
this triangle, circle, square. And similarly, we have uh, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1 square, 2 square, 1 circle and 1 triangle. Now, you need to find a similar pattern where one gate should follow this one and another gate should follow this particular pattern that you need to select. Okay, so this is inductive logical game which we saw the description just now. Now, another Another would be a homework for you. Don't overlook this particular thing. I know it's look like a good red line which is highlighting the answer. But try to ignore this and understand what is the underlying pattern right there. Oops, I have also given the hint. No problem. So yes, game type 3 which is an interesting game. Nowadays, LLM are very strong. So you, what you can do, you can take these screenshots out, put into LLM and ask to generate the respective game so that you can uh, practice it. Okay. So yeah, you can see we have uh, square, triangle plus circle. And yes, 1, 2, 3, 4 numbering that you need to provide then yes you need to see the result which is uh, generated while getting into this particular machine you just need to find the sequence out of it what would be the sequence so you can see the plus is on the first the triangle is on the second the square which is numbered as four is on the third position and the square is on on the last which is numbered as one so yes the right answer would be three two four one similarly you should uh get the analysis of this particular machine and get your answer done how it came cool now uh, game type 4 which is motion challenge and this is a pretty good challenge because i know you are from 2003 or 2002 or 2004 uh, this challenge is a very interesting because here you need to uh, rearrange the boxes or i would say the stacks or a brick whatever it is and you need to uh, move this particular ball into this particular circle so you just need to shift it shift it shift it and uh, shift and whatever it is required to shift and get this ball done into the circle that is your challenge okay this is a very funny and very uh joyable challenge that you can have a joy tanking with this particular thing okay now another is massive success rate as we are converting interview opportunity into offer letters so that you can make your parents proud because you are learning from our content our content will be uh helpful for your upcoming or uh, aptitude exam you can see the repetitive question for sure here you can also trust us for your mock interview because going into your actual interview you should check yourself before getting into isn't it so here the real experts will check your whole knowledge based on your communication the code concepts check your resume and ask you a question theoretically okay or i would say they will go in depth and they will ask you a question so that no other edge cases would be missed out resume review would be cherry on the cake because they're providing you resume review so that it will help you to stand out into your interview full interview simulation would be more than of 90 minutes okay so that uh, we will be sitting with you, helping with you with your doubts, with your communication, feedbacks, many more feedback which will make you a better version of yourself so that you can ace your upcoming opportunity. This would be the best gift that you can give to your parents. Okay, so don't forget to check before uh, going into your actual interview. Game type 5 with a digital challenge okay so we have no there are multiple solutions first we have to try to solve it incorrectly then uh, would be incorrect so we can only use any digit only once so yes only digit only once so yes this 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 i only used once then uh like two was duplicated other is only used only once and many others that you need to fill and generate your answer accordingly similarly this pattern and yes you can ask chat to generate more test cases so that you can practice your logical thinking now game type six which is don't fit the rule challenge okay so in each six figures there are two shapes out of which one is shaded and the other is unshaded so but only the third figure the two shapes overlap where is third figure okay there here's the third figure which is overlap so pick the one that doesn't fit the group okay you need to choose the oddest one every pattern is following some certain uh, rules that everything is outside from each other but only the third pattern is inheriting the another pattern inside it cool now uh, this would be the question that you need to do now this would be your homework as you saw the answer but try to analyze why this is the best fit for the answer as we just need to see the battle of the lines present in this particular images okay now game type 7 you have a 
these visual challenge like grid challenge mark the dot position in the correct order important okay so they will be showing you two images and you need to figure out the uh, darkest circle and then they will show you another picture where you need to mark the position whatever you have observed from the above or in the given images that would be a challenge but don't be uh, too nervous or less confident otherwise you would be ruining this opportunity okay so please look over the circles properly now mark yes if there is no symmetrical otherwise no mark yes if there is no symmetrical otherwise no okay you need to see whether these pictures are symmetrical or not and uh, like you can see there is a line between you just need to tell okay these pictures are symmetrical no it is not but here i can see yes it is symmetrical because we have, we have three we have three we have three we have three we have two we have two we have one we have one when we have four we have four we have two we have two so it is a symmetrical image okay but this is not a symmetrical image as we have two but here we have three boxes cool so yeah these are the few examples which i covered in this particular video please like and subscribe this channel because i need your support to build the quality content for your future placement drive as well whatever opportunity will come to your campus we will be working on that and give you the working or the most asked coding sheets most asked questions that can help you out to ace your upcoming interviews do recommend your friends to follow our channel so that they would be updated with any type of placement trends so we'll meet you with a new video soon until then take care